Welcome to the Super Spy Podcast. What's going on, rock stars? Love, love, love. That's what I was just listening to the Beatles singing that song. And man, they had it going on. But here we are. Woo! It is Wednesday. We are almost at the weekend. And and honestly, uh, I, I, I know you probably wouldn't expect this, but I can't celebrate too much uh, with all this bad news lately. My gosh. Evil is running rampant in this world. Uh, Everywhere you look, there's some kind of death or tragedy. And and honestly, it is especially dreadful when it involves innocent children. Uh, But I, I just keep praying for peace. I continue to search inside my own soul for peace. And I try to spread peace to my coworkers and well, frankly, uh, to everyone I meet, uh, I just want to spread peace and love. But, you know, it, it doesn't matter how much you love or, or display peace and love. There are just some mean, vile people in this world. Uh, and this is even people, strangers that you meet. Um, they're, they're staring me down uh, because of the way I look. And honestly, I really don't care what people think of my hair or the way that I dress. Um, Like today, I I was walking by this gentleman who, he was bald, and I don't care. I really don't care what people look like. And I wasn't about to engage him in conversation. I was just going to walk by and give him the familiar, you know, guy nod, you know, as if I'm saying, hey, what's up? But he decided to make a hair comment. You know, he looked right at me and he said, I bet you hate this humidity. I I stopped and I looked at him with my um, in the mirror practice confused face because that's the look that I use whenever my lovely bride asks me to go to a to the mall with her. (laughs) And I said, why would I hate humidity? And Baldy says, because you are having a bad hair day. And he chuckled. I, I continued my in the mirror practice confused face. And I said, well, and you know about bad hair days, how? And I realized that probably wasn't the nicest thing for me to say, but my goodness, I, I, I just can't understand meanness, okay? Uh, but I don't let people get me down. Uh, matter of fact, I am happy with how my life is going. Matter of fact, I, I, I got some great doctor reports the past two weeks. Um, I am working on a new project at work, so that's always cool. And my house is now operating on solar energy. So I'm doing my part uh, to to be green, if you will. But then again, I I do drive a Corvette. So life is good. But as I am getting closer to a milestone birthday just around the corner, I decided I wanted to do a little bit more self-care and and I want to slim down a little bit. So I decided to go on a two meal a day diet. And you know what? It's working out pretty great. I have two meals a day. Now, normally it's breakfast and um, what I call a midday or early evening dinner. And if I do get hungry in between, I'll, I'll nibble a little something. Uh, I, I've actually bought uh, celery sticks. Amazing. Um, but yeah, I am up to uh, 41 snacks a day. But, you know, that two meals a day, bro. 
but I, I do have to be careful because uh, back in oh, 1992, um, I had hiatal hernia surgery. Uh, so they went in there and moved around some parts. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, it was hell. Uh, really. Uh, I was in the hospital, uh, San Diego. I was in the Navy Naval Hospital uh, in San Diego, uh, Balboa Hospital. And uh, I was in there for a week. And let me tell you, I was hitting that morphine plunger that they give you whenever the pain was getting really, really bad. I could put up with some pain. Trust me, I, uh, I've, I've watched all of the Rocky movies, so I could put up with some pain. But when that, that pain went past my threshold, I hit that plunger, baby. And, and the hardest part was I was not allowed to have any food that entire week. That Well, I should say the first five days. Uh, because I, I will tell you, it was life-changing. I remember my first meal, okay? It was two cups of Jello. Two glasses, and they were small, like uh, maybe three, four ounces uh, of strawberry carnation instant breakfast. Oh my gosh! And they also had one of those, uh, you know, hospital um, apple juices, and they sat that in front of me, and I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be absolutely great. So I, I grabbed that strawberry elixir of pleasure and i slowly sipped it down oh there was nothing better and then i grabbed that second one and i opened it up and i just sipped it even slower oh strawberry goodness and i was enjoying every second i could feel the cool liquid going down my throat and then and then the nurse looks at me and she picks up the jello and hands it to me. And I started to cry. She looked at me and she goes, Are you in pain, Sergeant? And she reached for the plunger to administer some more morphine. And pathetically, I said, No, I'm full. Trust me, that was a tough yet beautiful, beautiful day. But I will tell you, since that surgery, uh, I have not been able to, I don't know how to put this um, decently, so I'll just say it. I have not been able to vomit. And yeah, that, that surgery took away my ability to hurl. And trust me, you just do not know the value Growing up until you cannot do it. In, in, instead, I, I have, it, when I get ill, especially if I get any kind of a stomach flu or anything like that, I just sit there and dry heave. And, and you could hear me dry heaving because Lord knows it's loud. I have to be dramatic about it. I'm like, rah, rah. but it was, it's just, it's just a horrible thing. I, I would, I would give away my my Corvette probably for the ability to uh, throw up. So it, it's um, oof. man, I, I'm I'm sitting here right now thinking about it, and and I'm like, that that's life changing, people, when you can't do something like that. But you know, that pain eventually went away. I eventually went home. Um, matter of fact, just a few months uh, after that debilitating surgery, uh, I I went to a, a military training school uh, that was quite physically demanding, and um, I did very well uh, because I got over it. Sad thing is, wow, I'm getting emotional. There are families right now in Uvalde that are not going to get over this hurt. And I'm just asking you guys to um, let's keep all the hurting people in this world in our thoughts and prayers. 
we we can never ever figure out why these things happen all we have to do is understand that evil does exist and i'm going to challenge you the best way to combat evil is to love one another you know go out go out and show love and in all things remember this there are three things that will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. I'm out, rock stars, with a broken heart.